your birthday. Hey, it's your day. Hey, it's your birthday. So let us celebrate. Hey, it's your birthday. Hey, it's your day. Hey. Happy birthday, Sean. Happy birthday, Sean. We hope you have a great day. Hey, guys. Hi, happy Thursday. Welcome back to Devotions with Emma and Sammy. We are so happy that you joined us again today. Um, today is going to be very fun because we're talking about Joshua in the Battle of Jericho. So from yesterday to today, here's kind of what happened. Um, yesterday, we talked about the Ten Commandments. So Moses had led um, the Hebrew people out of slavery. The Lord gives them the Ten Commandments and then... The battle of Jericho happens years after God has been leading his people through Moses. Moses has died, and then it's passed on to Joshua, who's now in charge. Um, so what we're going to talk about today is what the Lord asks of Joshua. But before that, we're going to go to Emma for our theme, main idea, and verses. Thanks, Sammy. Okay, so our theme is the stories that built us, and our main idea is Joshua and the battle of Jericho. And our verse is from Joshua chapter 6, verses 2 through 5. But the Lord said to Joshua, I have given you Jericho, its king, and all its strong warriors. You and your fighting men should march around the town once a day for six days. Seven priests will walk ahead of the ark, each carrying a ram's horn. On the seventh day, you are to march around the town seven times with the priests blowing the horns. When you hear the priests give one long blast on the ram's horns, have all the people shout as loud as they can. Then the walls of the town will collapse and the people can charge straight into town. And that is our verse. Yes, thank you, Emma. Um, so what the Lord asked of Joshua is very strange. He says, walk around the town once a day. When you hear a loud sound, yell really loud. I'm sure Joshua was like, okay, that's different. Um, but the whole theme of God's relationship with Joshua, um, God just kept saying, do not be afraid for I am with you. Be strong and courageous. That verse is in Joshua so many times. Um, so that was building Joshua's relationship with God where that he would trust him um, when God asked him to do even the strangest of things. Um, and what I love about this verse um, is the Lord starts it by saying, I've given you Jericho, its king, and all its strong warriors. So God is saying, look, the battle is already won, but here's what I want you to do to show that you trust me and so that we can build our relationship. Because the more you trust God, um, the more you'll feel comfortable doing even the strangest things that he asks you because you know that it's for good, that he has a greater plan. So our question today is focused on that. Um, Sometimes we feel like God is asking us to do things that are crazy. Um, maybe it's not marching around a city and yelling as loud as we can, um, but maybe it's talking to someone that we don't usually talk to or praying for someone when maybe we don't feel as comfortable praying out loud for someone. Um, but sometimes he asks us to do those things. So today I want you to think about um, what are the things that make it hard for you to obey God? I know for me, sometimes fear can make it hard to obey God. Um, sometimes I doubt that um, that thing that he's asking me to do will even bring any good. Um, so think about the things that make it hard for you to obey him. Pause right now. All right, welcome back. Thanks for taking the time to think about that question with us. Um, our prayer today is... Um, kind of focus on the fact that we are building our relationship with God um, all the time. So sometimes it's hard for us to obey God because we can't see him or hear him. Um, it's hard to trust something that you can't touch or hear or see in the same ways that I'm talking to Emma or talking to you guys. Um, so today we want you just to ask God to help you remember that he's with you, even in hard times, even when times um, look different than they usually do, he is with you. So take some time to talk with him and um, to help him, to ask him to help you remember that he's always with you. So pause right now. All right, you guys, thanks for taking the time to um, just talk to the Lord for a little bit. So 
Um, I want you to remember today that the Lord is with you and that he asks us to not be afraid because the battle is already won. So that's our devotion for the day. Um, over to Emma for our invitation. Yes. So to celebrate National Chicken Little Day, we would like to invite you guys to have fun and participate in doing the chicken dance. Um, I think most of you know how to do the chicken dance, and if you don't, I will leave a link to a video with um, some music below, and you guys can participate in that and learn it that way. And then um, if you guys would like to send us videos of you doing the chicken dance, I know we would love to see them. Um, so yeah, that's it. We will see you guys tomorrow. Bye, guys. <laughs>